I'm gonna be doing a muscular skeleton assessment today. Does she have a lot of pain, cramps, or stiffness in her body? Oh, good job. All right, hello. Thank you for uh, meeting with us for this telehealth appointment before uh, Raylan's in-person assessment. Before we get started, could I get her full name and date of birth? Sure, it's Raylan Huff, February 31st, 2012. All righty, and we're just going to go over some questions about her. Does she have a lot of pain, cramps, or stiffness in her body? Uh, she has some stiffness, yeah, due to her uh, spastic cerebral palsy. And where do you notice that the most? Uh, usually her arms, her legs. Uh, she has some stiffness in her neck. How do you know when she's in pain? Uh, she grimaces with her face. Uh, sometimes she'll cry out some. And what about um, any skeletal deformities? So her, She had spine surgery to correct uh, scoliosis. Yeah. All righty. It went from a 99% curvature to about a 44%. 99 to 44. Okay. And then you said range of motion and contractures. Just any particular ones that get in the way more than others or that you guys are worried about? Uh, I mean, just with like changing her clothes and stuff, her arm, her arm contractures can be hard to deal with. So she gets Botox to help um, loosen those up some. All right. What about issues with her, let's see, her skin? Does she have problems with it, like swelling or being real red? She gets really oily skin. Okay. Do you feel like if you if you squeeze her joints that like they're tender ever? Mm, I, I wouldn't say a lot, no. Okay. Um, histories of any kind of fractures? Uh, she's had uh, she's had fractures before. Yes. Uh, I'd have to look at medical history to know exactly when and where. But she's had, uh, I think it was an ankle fracture. She's had a um, I never would to be sure for sure. What were they from? Do you remember what caused them? Well, she has osteoporosis, so she has soft bones. Uh, she it can if we're not careful, uh, it's possible for her to break bones easily. But um, she hasn't had a whole lot of that. Okay. Has she fallen? Uh, no, she hasn't fallen. Okay, so breaks not even from falling. Um, right, just from from normal range of motion. If if you're not careful, careful. She could, um, she could have a fracture. Okay. What about bathing and grooming? What do you do to help with that? Oh, uh, I mean, we bathe her a couple, uh, two to three times a week. Um, do you have trouble getting her in and out of the tub? We have a roll-in shower. She has a bath chair that um, we use for that. Yeah. Uh, and she's, is, she uh does she use the toilet or is she incontinent she's incontinent we change her and you already talked about dressing is a little bit of trouble with the spasticity are you do you guys have any things you do that help with that yeah she has various meds that she takes to help with that she takes dizanidine she takes gabapentin okay i think you mentioned botox or yeah she has she gets year. botox a couple times a year too um and she's tube fed right yeah. so she, She's not walking or weight bearing at all right now. Is that correct? Uh, that's right. She some she used to get in her standard, but she hasn't done that since before hip surgery. Okay. How about transportation? Are you guys having any trouble with that? With like um, wheelchair transportation? Uh, no, we're doing two person sheet transfers to get her in and out of her wheelchair and in and out of her bed. Uh, she usually toler tolerates her wheelchair for I'd say two to four hours, depending on how she's feeling. How about getting the wheelchair in the car and her in the car and that goes fine do, do you use does she sit in her chair to to go places or you have a wheelchair we van have a wheelchair or? van she just ro rolls in and locks in um it's a quick lock system so it's just a push button to get her in and out or just out do you guys use any lifts in your home no we just do the two person sheet transfer um so sometimes our nurse will uh, pick her up by herself but usually if it's abby and i for the ease of our backs we will always use the two of us see her weight is um 56 pounds so um we can talk with the doctor about getting a lift for your home well we're in the process of possibly getting a ceiling lift okay good good um any other barriers in your home that you would maybe need help with for her Say that again. 
any other barriers in your home environment that you might need help or modification? Mm, no, I not. Um, I, I built a ramp myself and we're- Wow, impressive. Uh, we might possibly in the future, once uh, funds become available through the state, have them build a ramp for us that's better. <laughs> Mine's functional and it's fine, but um, uh, it's, I mean, it, I'm not a carpenter, <laughs> so I'm sure some, they could build something a lot better and nicer that's gonna hold up longer. If you need help with uh, letters of medical necessity, our office can help you out with that. Is there anything else about her muscles or her skeleton you want to talk about before our in-person visit? Um, no, I think um, in-person would be fine. All right. Thank you so much. We'll see you uh, when you come for your appointment. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi. I'm Nurse Abby, and I'm going to be doing a muscular skeleton assessment today. Can I get your daughter's name and date of birth? Her name's Raylan Huff, February 31st, 2012. Great. What do you guys call her? Call her Raylan. Just Raylan. Hi, Raylan. How are you today? Do you hear me talking to you? Do you hear me talking to you? Is this her general like arousal level yeah when she's moving her mouth like this that means she's listening and she likes what you're saying hi we're gonna do some stretching today okay can we stretch let me see your arms can you talk to me yeah let me see this arm oh good job you raise it up high 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 very good how do you do with getting her dressed and stuff like that uh I mean, sometimes she's really stiff, so it's hard to get her dressed, but she just recently had Botox in her arms, mm -hmm. um, so it makes that helps a lot when she has that. How often do you get that done? About every, we, we try to a couple times a year, every six months or so. You feel like it helps? Yeah, it definitely helps. Right now, it, she just did get Botox, but she's, and I don't know, maybe it hasn't completely kicked in yet. But it seems like she's still a little stiffer than usual That's after having gotten it. A couple weeks sometimes. Yeah. What, is one arm better than the other? Uh, I mean, they're both generally stiff. This elbow here is out of socket um, because of her seizures. Uh, when she has seizures, she oftentimes gets really stiff and just, just this. Pulls it out. Yeah, and so that elbow is out of socket. And now it's just stuck out. Yeah, it's just her, out. her uh, radial head. Yeah. But it doesn't seem like it hurts. Nope. So yeah, we haven't considered surgery because she's fine with it. She, it. Our thing with her is if it doesn't cause pain, it's probably okay. That sounds like a good rule. Is that a good rule? Do any of her um, limb movements cause pain? Say that again. Does she have pain with, what limb movements cause pain? Or what movements um, cause pain? Her hips, legs and hips oftentimes will cause her pain. So she's had several hip surgeries to try to correct that going forward. Uh, and her hips are permanently out of socket now from the last surgery. What did they do for the last surgery? They removed the tops of her um, thigh bones. I don't know what that's called. Okay, a femoral head mm -hmm. removal. And they attached the muscles from her hip area down to those. I don't understand everything, but um, they basically took her hips permanently out of socket. Uh, and that should hopefully prevent her from having pain going forward, but she's still ha having some pain from the recovery from all that. You got your legs spread out nice. That makes it easier for changing your briefs, huh? Yeah. Does she look down? Uh, once again, um, she does sometimes, but, um, and she just had some Botox in her neck to hopefully help her look down more, but she's been looking up a lot because of uh, her tense muscles in her neck. Where do you want to put your mind? Can we sit up some? Good, you're doing good. What movements does she do on her own? Um, I mean, she'll, she'll move limbs like a twitch and things, but she, I'm, in, ter in terms of intentional movement, very Purposeful. little. 
I wouldn't say that she purposefully has control of her limbs. She's she's very much quadriplegic. And you see you have these she wears. Oh. You okay? Hand splints. Arm yes. wrist. She has arm and or I guess hand and wrist splints mm -hmm. that she'll wear occasionally as tolerated. We don't do the best with these because she doesn't like them. Um, but we oftentimes play with her hands and just make sure that she she's has going good. to neutral really well. So if she didn't have purposeful movement of her hands, um, you know, it's not as important, but you want to make sure you can clean her hands so you don't want to lose it. Range of motion so you can clean easily. Yeah, we, we definitely marks. do range of motion with her hands um, as, as often as we can. Do you like in your hands played with? Are you talking to me about it? Yeah. You don't like these? They help. They help you keep your range of motion. Yeah? yeah what about her AFOs? How does she do wearing those? Uh, she wears her AFOs, um, I'd say most days, even, I'd say several hours most days is what I would probably say. Um, are there days that she doesn't wear them? Yeah, certainly, for having lazy days. But if she's up in her chair, she almost always has those on. If we're going anywhere, she almost always has them on. Do you have any problems with red marks from splints and AFOs? I mean, she'll get a pressure sore once in a while. But what does it look like? They'll be red or they'll be, you know, uh, looks. Like, sometimes it'll be... Does like, it break open? Not usually, no. I would does say it go away within 20 minutes, a red mark? Um... Sometimes, but I would say if she, I mean, if she has a genuine pressure sore, then it'll, we'll have to keep an eye on it for days sometimes, but usually they'll go away on their own. We'll just keep an eye on it and be real careful about how she's wearing them and how long she's wearing them and that kind of thing. Um, but Is yeah, when we notice that kind of thing, we're just really diligent about how she wears her AFOs. Like you got a toe strap on there. Like to curl that toe down. Am I playing with your toes? Are you ticklish? Are you ticklish? All right, can I move your hips a little? See, when she, when she winces like that, that's just a little bit of pain. Is it a little uncomfortable? Okay. Good stretch. How about this one? Can you move your leg up? Does she straighten her legs? Not, I mean, she does. She can, but she doesn't like to usually. <laughs> Once again, that's one of those range of motion things that we do. She's not always happy about, but we do. You can probably vary some yeah. through the day. Yeah. You're doing good. I will put this back in just a second. Let me see this leg. Can we straighten it? Do you do weight bearing like a stander? We used to. We have not done that in a while since hip surgery. It's been it's a long recovery. Yeah. And if we're not getting our legs straight. Looks, looks like it's a little bit shorter. Can we lay her down? Yeah. I think that leg is way too shorter. Hey, uh, we're gonna lay down, sweetie. It might just be the way that she's laying. We're gonna lay, I know. We're gonna lay flat. She's kind of. I'm gonna move her up. Well, I was just gonna say she's kind of crooked. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell because she went through these bent. Okay. I'm gonna move it back, Raylan. I'm gonna move it back. You want this under your legs? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Can I see your back? And tell me about back. Well, yes. she's had spine surgery. So, um... Did that help things? Oh, yeah, definitely. She's... She's... Straight. <laughs> I mean, she... Her, her spine used to be 99% uh, curvature of the spine. But now they've corrected it to about 40... 
40s percent curvature of her spine. Mm -hmm. So she sits so much straighter than she used to. She, it used to be a very I'm defined curve. Help you breathe better. Mm -hmm. You need a back rub? You need a back rub. Your skin looks pretty. You want a back rub? Yeah, forward. And so you log roller to change diapers and stuff. Yes. Yeah. No bins in that. It looks good. Okay, do you have any questions for me? <laughs> no. Do you have any Nothing questions, so. Raylan? Huh? Thanks for letting me help you stretch. You did good. Let's stretch your arms up. Can you clap? Yay! You did so good. Thank you. Thank you, Raylan. All right. So, anything else? No. Nope. Okay. The call light is right here. You can just push it if you need anything. All right. Doctor will be in a little bit. Thank you so much.